Andy Katz here with Providence head coach Ed Cooley, who is staying with the Friars. News over the last week and a half. Um, Michigan came after you. That was well reported. Um, what was the deciding factor as to why you decided to stay at Providence? And then, of course, you got a nice extension. Well, you know, the extension is great. And, you know, I appreciate Ward Man, University of Michigan, the great people uh, do a great job. It just was really hard to leave home, really hard to leave home. Uh, loyalty from Providence College, Father Shanley being probably the best president in, in college sports and college universities, um, Bob Driscoll. It just was hard, you know, sitting down talking to my wife. I think the right decision at this point in time where we are with our family was to stay right here and, and complete the mission. Yep, this is your hometown. Uh, you've done an amazing job, obviously, in building back this program. Alpha Diallo makes the decision. He's returning to Providence. What kind of impact can Alpha have on this team next season? Well, not just impact at Providence College basketball team next year, but in the league. I think he's one of the better, more versatile players in the league and in the country, really hard to guard. You know, he can score it at all three levels. He can defend with anybody in the country. He gives us a chance to try to get back to the tournament, which is our goal every single year. I'm proud of him for making a really good decision to be a college graduate. You know, if the NBA calls next year, uh, he'll be more prepared. He's going through the process. And he's got a lot of intel back. So I'm really proud of him, and I'm looking forward to coaching him next year. You guys had a lot of injuries, and that's probably one of the main reasons you weren't able to get into the tournament. I uh, made the NIT. What has to change, though, for next season for this team to be not just an NCAA tournament team, but really compete at the top of the league again? Well, I think we have to, uh, we have to shoot the ball a little bit better, score it a little bit easier. We need easier baskets. Um, we can't foul as much. We fouled a lot. We turned the ball over. Um, defensively, I thought we were solid. Um, we got to get better defensively. But more importantly, be more disciplined in our offensive game. Our offensive efficiency really struggled. We were last in the league in scoring, so we got to pick that up. But we feel we added some pieces that can help. In the league, coming back, Miles Palace Eaton Hall, Alpha Diallo Providence, uh, Marcus Howard, Marquette never even decided to, to flirt with it, Najee Marshall from Xavier. Uh, I'm not even mentioning anyone coming back from Georgetown, and obviously, you know, they're a team that certainly could compete near the top, and same with Villanova. The main guys that I just mentioned that are coming back, Powell, Marshall, Howard, and your guy Diallo. What does that say about the league? Well, you know, last year we were really young, so the league struggled a little bit, especially in, in the tournament. Hopefully with some veteran leadership in the league, I think Powell is one of the best shooters, if not the best shooter in college basketball. I'm happy for Kevin that he came back. Najee Marshall's really improved. Howard is probably the most dynamic scorer in the country. It gives our league a chance to be really, really special. Thanks, Ed. Thanks.